Welcome back to AP Precalculus in under 3 minutes. No time for intros, let's get into it. So the trig circle. It's cool and all, but let's make it disappear. Think of it this way. Of course, remember the angle measures, but just think of a graph. We already know how to find sine, cosine, and tangent of quadrantal angles, but what if we have something like sine of 30 degrees? Let's draw a line. Draw the 30 degrees angle, but this time we draw a line to make a triangle. Just so you know, no matter where you draw a line, it needs to go to the x-axis. Then, since we know one angle is 30 and the other is 90, this would make a 30-60-90 triangle. So filling in the Besides knowing the 30, 60, 90 triangle, we know sine is opposite over hypotenuse, meaning 1 over 2. Meaning sine of 30 degrees is 1 over 2. And if we had something like cosine of 45 degrees, then we can construct the 45, 45, 90 triangle, and we know cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, which in this case is 1 over root 2. Thing is, you can't have a square root in the denominator, so you must rationalize it by multiplying both the numerator and denominator by root 2 and solving. This gets us root 2 over 2 is our answer to cosine of 45 degrees, or pi over 4 radians. And if you wanted to find, say, tangent of 60 degrees, or pi over 3 radians, you construct your 30, 60, 90 triangle. We know tangent is opposite over adjacent, which in this case is root 3 over 1, or root 3. So to spare this video from being over 3 minutes, if we were to do this anywhere on the unit circle where any special right triangles are possible, we can get the parentheses answers here that show the answers in the format cosine comma sine to each of the angles. And of course, if you wanted to find tangent, it's just sine over cosine. You need to memorize the circle to make this easiest for you. Alright, a handful of other things we need to talk about. If you were given an inverse sine, cosine, or tangent equation, it's not that difficult. So for example, in this one where it's inverse sine of root 3 over 2, all it's asking is what angle will have root 3 over 2 as an answer for the sine of it. So looking at our unit circle, we see it in two places. Thing is, dealing with inverse functions, certain inverse functions only exist in certain quadrants of the graph because of domain restrictions. Since inverse sine can only exist in quadrants 1 and 4, even if there is an answer of root 3 over 2 at 120 degrees, it can't be an answer because inverse sine can't exist there, meaning our only answer would be 60 degrees or pi over 3. Another way to notate inverse function is using arc notation. Just know it means the same exact thing. Angles can also be negative by going clockwise instead of counterclockwise. So 30 degrees is equal to negative 330 degrees. You would still solve the sine, cosine, and tangent of them the same way. These equations, know them. Here's why. If you were given a question like this, you were asked to find the x and y. You could just plug in r and theta to get these answers. Or in this question where you're asked to find r and theta, you find r by using this formula and theta through algebra. Okay, on the screen now are questions for this topic topic. Answers now. See you in the next one.